ito ang ginawa ko na example na ito kasi bakit tinawag ko siyang hacking the engineering board exam series is ito ang isang advantage ng board exam sa exam sa school. So, sa school, walang choices. Dito, sa board exam, may choices. Kasi kung walang choices to, you can't easily, you can't readily use the formula na ginawa ko. But since may choices, since nasa choices ang isa sa mga tamang sagot, we could exploit the question, we could exploit or we could hack the board exam by using one of the choices and then i-plug in natin dun sa formula ang ginawa ko. Kasi hindi mo na magagamit yung ibang mga formula dito, definitely. And yung formula ko will still be applicable, but you need one of the choices to check kung sino ba yung tamang sagot. Pakita muna natin. I have here a clock application. And pakita ko siya. Baba natin ito. So, this one is, ang, ang first choices niya is, pakita natin, 317 and 318. Ipakita natin yung 317. So, I'll change this to 317. Ito yun. Ayan yan. Pakita natin. Ang tagal mag-reflect ng 317. Ayan. So, yung, yung hour hand natin is nasa pagitan na ito. And sabi daw dito, after 2 to 3 hours, or 1 to 2 hours, what if ililipat natin yung hour hand, ililipat ko yung minute hand doon sa location ng hour hand. So, pag ililipat ko siya doon sa position ng originally ng hour hand, kung napansin nyo, hindi na equal yung angle mas malaki na yung pagitan dito. So, yung 316 at 317, yung 317 at 318 doon sa choices are already invalid. Kasi nung pinagpalit natin yung location ng minute hand doon sa hour hand, yung angle hindi na siya equal based doon sa pinakita ko sa inyo. So, kung ibabalik ko siya, ibabalik natin sa 3 o'clock yan, Balik natin so, sa 317. Ito yon If you notice, ang angle dito, mas maliit. Hintay natin mag-reflect dito yung angle. So, ito yung angle at 4 something. Medyo, ayan. Ito yung angle at 3 something. So, at 3, 6, 3, 17, 3, 18. So, invalid na yon In short, we have 50-50 chance na makuha yung tamang sagot. So, all we have to do now is choose between C or D. Kung pagpipilian natin between these two, so, let's first try 326. So, kung ipapakita ko yung solution, ito ngayon yan. Ito yung dinemonstrate ko sa inyo kanina. So, yung first time natin is 317 or 318. Nung in ko siya at pinagpalit ko siya, ito yung corresponding location ngayon ng minute hand. Kung napansin yung angle, they are not equal anymore. So, hindi, hindi niya na-satisfy na yung position of the hands of the clock when he left and when he returned were interchange. So, yung angle are not the same. Kaya yung 317 and 318 are invalid na sa pagpipilian natin. We have two choices left, 326 and 327. Subukan natin yung 26.43 minutes. Subukan natin ito. Since wala yung unknown yung angle natin, let's compute. Sabi, gamitin natin yung 26 minutes, itong letter C, yung 26.43. Compute ngayon natin. So, let's compute this one. So, 26.43 divided by 60 to convert that into hours. And then, we multiply this by 11. And then, we perform this one. Then, binaba natin. Iaakit ulit natin doon. So, I multiply this by 30. So, multiply this by 30. And then, if you notice, plus na po ito. So, 30 times 3. And then, ililipat natin siya doon sa kabila. Wag na negative ngayon yon. So, that's minus 90. And the angle is 55.365 degrees. So, yun yung angle. Now, subukan natin using the same angle noong 5 o'clock na. Kasi dapat equal yun eh. Equal yung angle noong umalis siya. Ito yun. This angle here at 
326, letter C is 326, nung pagbalik niya, yung minute hand napunta sa position ng hour hand at yung hour hand napunta sa position ng minute hand. Ito ngayon yon So, this is 5 something. So, this is 5 minus yung angle na na-compute natin divided by 30 divided by 11. So, e-check ngayon natin yan. This is 55.365 then divided by 30. And then, 5 o'clock minus yung answer natin. That is 3.411545. And then, we divide it by 11. Ayan. And then, let's multiply this by 60 to get the equivalent minutes. So, the answer is 17.2. So, bumalik siya noong 5... 17. So, ayan yung time na nakabalik na siya after 1 to 2 hours later. So, ang tamang sagot dito is 3.26. Subukan yung gamitin yung letter D. So, uh, since you have a copy of this one, so, try yung gamitin yung letter D and kayo na mag-conclude. So, the correct answer here is 26.43. And this is a difficult question pag hindi mo alam yung GMA's formula for any given time and angle. So I hope sana after nitong video na ito, lahat na ng clock problem sa kahit anong board examination. So sa mechanical, sa electrical, sa civil, sa electronics, pag may mga tanong about a given time, pinapakompute yung angle, given yung angle, pinapakompute yung time, etc., So, my formula is more flexible compared to all other available shortcut formulas kung pag-uusapan natin for any given time and angle. Now, may ipanibagong problem. 